The mainstream media is finally realizing they can't hide from Carrie. Uh, so they put her on CNN, on Dana Bash's show, and just watch how they treat her and watch how effective she is in her response. We called the 2020 election corrupt, stolen, rotten, and rigged. And there was no evidence of any of that presented in a court of law or anywhere else that any of those things are true. So why do you keep saying that? Well, there's plenty of evidence. We had 740,000 ballots with no chain of custody. Those ballots shouldn't have been counted. The people don't trust our elections. They haven't since 2000. I'm a reporter. I've been sitting on your side of the desk for a long time. And since 2000, we have Americans who don't trust our elections. In 2000, in 2004, they didn't trust the elections. In 2016, Kamala Harris, Amy Klobuchar, and Hillary Clinton, everybody on the Democrat side said the Ms. election Lake. had problems. Ms. Lake, there definitely sorry, has been it, some of that, but I want to say in 2000, Al Gore conceded. In 2004, John Kerry receded, uh, conceded. In 2016, Hillary Clinton conceded, and we didn't see that in 2020. Stacey Abrams never conceded. She still hasn't. I don't hear CNN calling her an election denier. We have the right it's protected with our First Amendment to question our government and to question elections. No question about that. we still have the First Amendment. Yep. We still have the First Amendment. And when you start seeing the media cancel people for questioning their government, then that's when we have a problem. I, I a totally agree to about the First Amendment. You and I are uh, benefiting from the First Amendment as we speak. So... You know, the, the best part of that, right at the end of that clip there, where she says, you know, we have the First Amendment, and Dana Bash goes, yep, yep. Did you see that? She goes, yep, we have the First Amendment. Yes, we do. Um, look, without rehashing all of the election stuff, the, the simple fact is that what Carrie Lake said there was true. There is, it, it's on video, we've shown it. There are the tweets, Hillary Clinton calling Donald Trump an illegitimate president. For four years, the entire machine telling you he was a Russian plant or a Russian operative. Dana Bash knows that that's all true. She knows it's all true. So Carrie's right. We are allowed to question things. I don't know. I'll probably be kicked off YouTube for saying that you're allowed to question things, but you are allowed to question things. And it's not even, it's not really about, are you allowed to question things or not? It's like, how about both sides just get equal treatment? So if the Democrats want to do this, if the Democrats for four years when Donald Trump is president, want to say he's an illegitimate president, want to bring up impeachment, want to make up Russia collusion and all of those things, well, then the Republicans should just have equal opportunity to do such things. That would be a sort of fair, even playing field, but that's obviously not what we have, which is why we have a corporate press that behaves the way they do and a big tech machine that censors as it wishes.